So it's just a matter of 100 losses or not. But I've been encouraged by Cruz, how he's uh, put together a nice bit of hitting. He's got his average up. He's in for power. Castro looks like he's going to be. In fact, right now, I would put him as a second baseman next year, along with Cruz at shortstop. Um, and Contreras is another guy who's done well. If this Ortiz can be something, I, I don't want to get, you know, hope is the only thing that <laughs> you get to wish for here. And, and most of it just becomes fizzled out as the season next year wears on. But these guys are young. This is what I like about it. They're not 26. They're 22, 23 years old. They need a lot more of those kind of guys and to produce sooner rather than later. Well, there was another play where, you know, a collision in the outfield or a bo bobbled ball. That was Castillo. That cost more, them tonight. It? Yep, I know. But, Bob, I mean, did you get the sense that they thought what Hayes did at third base was a big deal? I heard Derek Shelton on the radio with you today on the fan. I thought they kind of, uh, again, swept it under the rug. They I did. don't like that. I don't like it either. I, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. You know, congratulations, Rodolfo <laughs> Castro, when he's not checking his text messages during a game. It's hit some home runs here late in the season. But, you know, I want to see them go out this next offseason now and try to start to build a winning team. Six teams make the playoffs in each league. It's easier to get in. Who knows what happens once you're in. Uh, the days of rebuilding have to end and end right now, this offseason, with more money spent. So, okay, great news that you and others think they're starting to put a nucleus together now they need to fill in with guys that help them end uh, these dreary years of 100-plus losses. No question. Spend, too. They, and there's no excuse not to. Regardless of who's coming up or not coming up, you have voids on that team that have to fill it. When we come back, Andrew, we're going to talk about that Thursday night game. It's a big one right off the bat here. A division game on a Thursday night week three of the season. Lots of injuries for the Cleveland Browns. Who will play, who won't? And what will the Steeler offense do on Thursday night? Is there time to change? You know, play calling, how their philosophy is in one short week. We'll talk about that and more. We want your phone calls at 412-575-2600. Get on the line right now. Air your opinions right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW.